These four Soviet memorials commemorate fighters whose bodies have been recovered by search parties since the war. Searching for missing soldiers is a long and complicated process. First, the head of a search group asks locals where exactly the fighting took place. Well, there are a lot of dead. Many of our fighters, particularly the partisans, died in the swamps. Just walking through the woods, you could see the dead lying in groups of 10 or 12. They never made it out of the forest. Then a group of volunteers sets out on an expedition. They comb the site meter after meter. Weapons and other objects made of metal keep fairly well underground. This is a Soviet helmet. It was a direct hit. You can see where the shot entered and exited. When the search party returns to base, the objects are carefully examined. The latest expedition has turned up tin spoons, a flask, and medals. But the searchers regard so-called medallions as the most valuable finds. These are small cases containing all important papers. They carry the information that will help identify the soldier, his age, rank, and the name of town or village where he was called up. It just so happens that we're from the same place as the dead soldier. We're going to look for his relatives. Now one more fallen soldier has a name.